My son Jason, at the age of 16, was involved in a pawn shop robbery where the storekeeper was killed. He received a 40-year life sentence. Let me explain. With me constantly being deployed, mom leaving the home twice, grandfather abusing them when they were younger, uh, all those type of things, it, it, it led to a perfect storm of, of um, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, um, behavior problems, which I didn't, didn't know about being that I was uh, deployed. Even there were some suicide attempts for what I, I found out later. When the stepmother kicked him out, I was deployed at the time. Jason and my Sergeant Major's son and a group of kids decided to rob a pawn shop from a movie they had been watching. My Sergeant Major's son killed a storekeeper and uh, under law of parties, uh, Jason, my son, uh, got a uh, capital life sentence. Uh, and under law of parties, it makes it to where you, he was responsible for what the, my Sergeant Major's son did. And so uh, he's been incarcerated now for 26 years. When they said 40 years, they gave him 40 years without the possibility of parole. I mean, it just did not make any sense to me, you know, because of him being 16 years old, that you're gonna lock him up for the rest of his life, basically. America is a country that we give second chances to uh, athletes, we give second chances to uh, actors. So why would we not give a second chance to, to our children? He's become very well learned. Uh, he's gotten two degrees with honors. He's gotten his paralegal degree with honors. I mean, I asked my son, how are you able to be in prison for 26 years? And he said, Man, Dad, he said, I've had, always had a strong mind and I've never lost hope. Never lost hope. 26 years, he's never lost hope.